For today's Monday Makeup Lesson, I'm going to show you how to create this super easy fall glam everyday look. If you're new to the Makeup Chair channel, then make sure to hit the subscribe button below. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you and welcome back. Now let's get started in creating this super easy look. To create this look, we're only going to be using two eyeshadows. So I want you to take a shade that's about one shade darker than your skin tone. And I'm using a kind of an orangey yellow. So an orangey yellow shade, one shade darker than your skin tone with a matte finish. Those are your three things that you're looking for. And then I'm also going to be using a cranberry tone. So this is a little deeper than my skin tone, maybe about two shades darker with a metallic or a foil finish. Now you can also do this look by using a ready orange in a matte shade as well. But I love the way that metallics blend or foiled eyeshadows blend. They're great for beginners. They're actually very forgiving, especially if you're not so great at blending. You're also going to need a black pencil liner. I know this looks a little odd, but it is a pencil liner. And we're using two brushes for this look as well. So we're going to be using the E01 by Blank Canvas Cosmetics. This is a small blending brush. I love this brush. It's amazing for beginners. It's almost like a flat brush, a pencil brush, and a blending brush had a baby. It would be this brush. It's a combination of all of those and it blends as it applies. So it's a great one for beginners. And our other brush is a blending brush. So your favorite kind of fluffy blending brush. This is the E13. You're also going to need some mascara. I'm also going to be applying some lashes and you're also going to need to use an eyeshadow primer and this is going to prevent our lids from getting stained. I find that reds and yellows and oranges, they tend to stain my lids. So by applying an eyeshadow primer, it creates a barrier and just prevents that from happening or at least lessens it. So the shaping that we're creating for this look is a classic smoky eye. So lots of depth at the lash line, blending upwards, and then some fading effect in the crease area, blending upwards towards the brows. So we're going to start at the lash line. We're going to start with that black pencil. And I want to show you guys a really easy technique of using black pencil. What you want to do is to keep the pencil at a horizontal line. So working in a horizontal motion across the lash line. What you don't want to do is to come on front ways because it's actually very hard to control it when you do that. So try resting your pinky on your cheek and then holding the pencil horizontally against the lash line. And if you're left-handed or right-handed, you just want to switch your hand over and back, but make sure you're keeping it horizontal and not trying to come on straight onto the eye. Now, when it comes to blending this out, we're going to take our ring finger. We're going to bring it nice and low on the face. We're going to look down in a mirror and we're going to start on the outer third. And what I'm doing is a very kind of soft motion. I'm not blending it around. I'm literally pressing on it to smudge it. What we don't want to do is to apply too much pressure and start blending it upwards. As you're kind of pressing and smudging it, it will naturally blend upwards so you don't have to put so much work in. And then we're going to do the inner corner and we're going to use our pinky for this, okay? So we're going to use our pinky and we're going to blend and smudge across the lash line, stopping in the center. And the reason we didn't use our ring finger is because too much product build up on there now. It's also a really difficult area to get access to. You want to use your smaller finger because it really gets you in there and it stops the shadow from blending up too high. Once you've smudged it out, you should get something that looks like this. Now we're going to use our metallic shade. I'm going to be taking the E01. And what we like to do on this channel is we like to press this brush down to create a fan. And this fan gives us lots of control and really smudges and blends the eyeshadow across the lash line. So we're going to pick up a little bit of that shadow. We're going to press our brush down and just press this over the area where we've applied the black. Now the black is going to work as something for our shadow to hold on to. So it's going to intensify it and also create a nice deep base for it to sit on top of too. So it's just going to look so much better than just applying it by itself. And you should end up with something that looks like this. And then we're going to work on the lid area. I'm sticking to that same brush and I'm going to be mixing up the two different shades. So blend the two of them onto your brush and tap it on the back of your hand to kind of build up a little bit of it. And then slowly start to apply this onto the lid. Now these are going to look messy, okay? The reason being is they're two very different shades with very different finishes. These two finishes are not going to want to mix. They're not going to be happy with each other, but eventually they'll get used to each other and you'll get a nice even base. 
Don't worry about blending up too high at this point. Really keep it to the lid. So don't worry about that blend. Just wait because we're going to start by taking a clean blending brush. So there's nothing on this blending brush. And we're just going to go around the edges to start with. So once you have your lid where you want it to be, you want to then take your blending brush and just softly go around the edges. So we're going to hold the brush really far down on the handle. We're going to bring our hand nice and low. And we're going to softly tap upwards, blending over and across into the crease area. So where the eyelid creases into the eye shape. Just keep that blend very, very soft. You're not really touching the skin. It's just kind of gliding, just gliding over the lid. Once you feel like you have a soft fade there, we're then going to go in with a very small amount of that yellowy orangey shade. And I'm only coating one side of the brush. I'm tapping off the excess. We're holding the brush a little higher on the handle this time, but still keeping it nice and low. And then we're going to start using that same motion of blending over and back into the crease area. And then we can bring our hand a little higher. And the reason we do this is because the higher your hand is, the lower the blend is going to be. So we don't want to bring too much of that pigment all the way up towards the brows. So we still want to leave a nice gap underneath the brows. And this technique will definitely help with that. And you'll probably notice that I only kind of coated one side of the brush and the reason for that was just to prevent any of that pigment from getting up too high and this just evenly applies a shadow for me. And you want to very slowly build up your pigment. Don't apply too much of it to start with because you're going to get scared. Just very slowly build this up. And you should end up with something that looks like this. And then we're going to repeat the same process underneath the eye. We're going to apply a little bit of that liner. If you have close set eyes, you want to keep this to the outer third. If you have a balanced eye, you can do whatever you want. And for wide set eyes, you might want to do it the whole way across. Once again, smudging with my ring finger, applying a little bit of that metallic shade on our fanned brush, working this underneath the lashes on top of the black. Take a little bit of that yellowy shade and apply that with an open brush blending over and around. I also just cleaned up a little bit because that pigment did kind of go everywhere. I then went in with mascara and you might notice a little bit of fallout on your lashes, especially because we've been applying that metallic shade right at the lash line. That's okay. So a little technique you can do is to wiggle your mascara wand over and back. And this almost brings the mascara over the top of the lashes and it should help to kind of camouflage any of the pigment that might have fallen on your lashes. If it doesn't, what I like to do is just take a little bit of gel liner and just work over the top of it. I then went in with some falsies. I also loved how this looked with my glasses. It worked out pretty well. And I know I'll get this question. How do you wear lashes with your lenses? And my main trick is an eyelash curler. This is going to make sure to keep those lashes away and back curved upwards so that they don't keep knocking off my lens. I have an eyelash curler in my handbag. I have it in my car. If I'm wearing my glasses, I need my eyelash curler. I really loved this look. I love that kind of autumn-y fall feel. It's my favorite time of year. I hope you guys are having a good day. And if you are not, then I hope tomorrow's a little bit better for you. Remember, don't be so hard on yourself because life is tough enough without being tough on yourself. You can check out some of the other videos on the screen, but if this is where I leave you, then I will talk to you next week. Bye for now.